Ever pondered the question, can we truly know anything? It's a question that tickles the minds of both philosophers and scientists, but the ways they approach it are vastly different. In the realm of philosophy, we wrestle with concepts that can't be quantified or measured. Ideas such as morality, consciousness, and the meaning of life. These philosophical claims are often evaluated through a process called refutation, which involves challenging an assertion with the aim of disproving it. It's like a mental chess game where each move is a counter-argument, and the objective is to checkmate the original claim. Now let's take a leap from the realm of ideas to the world of atoms and molecules. Science, in stark contrast, deals with empirical evidence and observable phenomena. Scientists use the method of testability, which involves making predictions and conducting experiments to see if those predictions hold true. It's a systematic way of poking and prodding the universe trying to coax it into revealing its secrets. While philosophy and science might seem like two completely different ball games, they actually share a common goal, the pursuit of truth. However, the paths they take to reach this goal are distinct. Philosophy uses logic and reason to dissect abstract ideas, aiming to reveal the underlying truths about our existence and the nature of reality. On the other hand, science uses empirical evidence and experimentation to understand the physical universe, aiming to uncover the laws that govern our world. In philosophy, the truth is often elusive and open to interpretation, whereas in science the truth is typically concrete and verifiable. But that doesn't mean one is superior to the other. They are simply different ways of exploring the vast landscape of knowledge, each with its unique tools and techniques. So we see that philosophy and science, though different, are both ways humans attempt to understand the world. They represent the dual nature of our quest for knowledge, an intellectual journey that continues to push the boundaries of what we know and understand. Imagine a philosopher saying, the only certainty is uncertainty. What does that mean? To delve into the heart of this statement, we must first understand the concept of refutability in philosophy. Refutability refers to the ability to prove a statement or theory false. Now doesn't that sound simple, but when applied to philosophy, it's a whole different ballgame. Philosophical claims often dance in the realm of the abstract where concrete proof is as elusive as a mirage in the desert. These claims are subject to interpretation, colored by the perspectives of the interpreter. This inherent subjectivity makes it difficult to refute philosophical claims definitively. Let's consider a famous philosophical claim from the ancient Greek philosopher Socrates who said, I know that I know nothing. This statement known as the Socratic paradox has been a topic of debate for centuries. Is Socrates claiming that knowledge is impossible, or is he humbly admitting his ignorance? Depending on your interpretation, your argument against this claim will differ, and therein lies the challenge. Or take the Chinese philosopher Zhuangzi's butterfly dream, where he dreamt he was a butterfly and upon waking, was uncertain if he was a man who dreamt he was a butterfly or a butterfly, dreaming he was a man. This philosophical claim toys with the concept of reality and identity. How can we refute such a claim when it's so heavily dependent on personal perception? Therefore, unlike scientific claims that can be tested and disproven, Philosophical claims exist in a space where the lines between right and wrong, true and false, are blurred. They invite us into a dance of ideas, a tango of thought where we can argue, debate, and disagree, but rarely can we ever declare a clear winner. Thus philosophical claims, while they can be argued against, are notoriously hard to refute completely. This is the beauty and the challenge of philosophy. It's not about finding definitive answers but rather about asking the right questions. Now picture a scientist claiming, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. This isn't just a statement made on a whim, it's a scientific law, derived from empirical observations and experiments. This brings us to the heart of science, testability. Testability is a fundamental principle in science. It means that for a claim to be scientifically valid, it must be empirically testable. In other words, it must be possible to set up an experiment or observation that could potentially prove the claim false. This concept is deeply rooted in the philosophy of science and is closely related to falsifiability, a principle introduced by philosopher Karl Popper. So, when a scientist says, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction, they're not merely making a statement, they're also implicitly inviting you to test it. Drop a ball, and it bounces back. Push a wall, and you feel a force pushing back. These are everyday examples of testing Newton's third law of motion. This principle of testability does not only apply to laws of physics, it extends across all scientific domains. For instance, 
The theory of evolution by natural selection proposed by Charles Darwin is testable. Scientists have gathered a wealth of evidence from the fossil record, genetics, and comparative anatomy that supports this theory. Yet it remains testable because new evidence could potentially refute it. However, it's worth noting that testability doesn't guarantee that a theory will be proven or disproven conclusively. The universe is complex, and our understanding of it is always evolving. Theories that have withstood rigorous testing become accepted as the best current explanation, but they are always subject to future testing and revision. In science then, claims are not just made, they are tested, retested, and tested yet again. This is what sets science apart from other modes of inquiry. It's a relentless pursuit of knowledge, grounded in evidence and open to change when new evidence comes to light. So, how do the refutability of philosophical claims and the testability of scientific claims stack up against each other? Well let's dive in. Both philosophy and science are on a quest for truth, but they approach this journey differently. On one hand, we have philosophy, where refutability is a cornerstone. Philosophical claims are often broad, abstract and open to interpretation. They're like puzzles that never fully resolve, constantly inviting us to question, argue and refine our understanding. This can be a strength, as it encourages deep thought and exploration. Yet, it can also be a weakness, as it can lead to ambiguity and a lack of definitive answers. On the other hand, we have science, where testability is key. Scientific claims are typically concrete, specific and subject to empirical testing. They're like a series of experiments each building on the last, striving for objectivity and precision. This can be a strength as it allows for clear measurable progress and can yield practical applications. However, it can also be a limitation, as it may overlook the complexities and nuances that aren't easily quantifiable. When comparing and contrasting these two, it's clear they're different sides of the same coin. Philosophy, with its emphasis on refutability, excels at questioning and challenging our assumptions. It invites us to consider multiple perspectives and grapple with complex, often unanswerable questions. Science, with its focus on testability, excels at providing evidence-based answers and making tangible progress. It enables us to understand and manipulate the world around us in measurable ways. But these strengths are also their weaknesses. Philosophy's openness to interpretation can lead to endless debate with no clear resolution, while science's reliance on empirical evidence can lead to a narrow focus that ignores broader, more subjective aspects of reality. So, while it might be tempting to pit philosophy and science against each other, it's more accurate and productive to see them as complementary. Each has its strengths and weaknesses, and each plays a crucial role in our collective pursuit of truth. Clearly, both philosophy and science have their unique roles in our quest for knowledge and understanding. In the end, what can we glean from this exploration of philosophy and science? We embarked on a journey, delving deep into the realms of philosophy and science. We have seen the unique ways each field approaches the pursuit of knowledge. Philosophy, with its knack for posing profound questions and inspiring introspection, thrives on refutability. It invites us to challenge, critique and refine our ideas, fostering a culture of intellectual growth and progress. Science, on the other hand, is grounded in testability, offering tangible, measurable insights into the universe that surrounds us. It encourages us to question, hypothesize and experiment, leading us to concrete answers that can be tested and retested, providing a sturdy foundation for our understanding of reality. But as much as these fields differ, they also share a critical commonality. Both philosophy and science are driven by an insatiable curiosity, a relentless quest to unravel the mysteries of existence. They represent two sides of the same coin, complementing each other in our pursuit of knowledge. Philosophy provokes the questions that science seeks to answer. It guides us in defining what is worthy of our inquiry, shaping the direction of scientific research. Meanwhile, science provides the tools and methods for testing these philosophical propositions, turning abstract concepts into observable phenomena. In their interplay, they create a dynamic and robust framework for exploring the world, each contributing its unique strengths to our collective understanding. They remind us that the pursuit of knowledge is not a solitary endeavor, but a shared journey that benefits from diverse perspectives and approaches. So, as we strive to comprehend the intricacies of the universe, let's appreciate the value of both philosophical inquiry and scientific experimentation. Let's embrace the challenge of refutability and the rigor of testability, recognizing that they both play crucial roles in our quest for truth. 
Whether it's through the lens of philosophy or science, our journey to understand the universe continues. The question is, how will you contribute to this great endeavor? If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.